January has come and gone. We are officially in the month of Feb, right? So this video is just a roundup of some of the new fragrances that were released in the, the later half of uh, January, right? Uh, January 2024, right? So first of all, same as last year, um, Givenchy has added to their uh, society, you know, the new society, their iris free um, line that they started last year. So Givenchy Gentleman Society EDP Extreme. So if you look at the bottle, it's got a bit of a grayish um, uh, uh, um, um, tint on the on the Givenchy logo. So yeah, that's the only different to the way to differentiate between the society and the uh, EDP Extreme, right? So notes here, floral notes, iced coffee, spicy notes, uh, woody notes. Uh, very interesting iced coffee, spicy notes. So something very intense with a bit of a flowery aspect to it and the woods. So definitely one of those dark lord type of scents, but definitely from Givenchy, always, always, always good, right? So what they say about the fragrance here, crafted with Givenchy Elegance Gentleman Society EDP Extreme is a powerful and captivating interception made for the adrenaline seeker. Givenchy in, in, invites the most unstoppable gentlemen to join the ages society with Gentleman Society EDP Extreme, right? So it's an invitation to join this society. The bold new signature for men who set their own rules. A dark iced coffee accord pushes this powerful woody floral spicy fragrance to sensational limits for the most extreme body perform, right? So yeah, from the house of Gen uh, Givenchy, in, from the gentleman line, gentleman society, EDP extreme, right? Next one from the house of Zadik Voltaire, a house that I'm very curious about. Um, I once bought something for my wife from this house, um, but I haven't bought anything for myself as yet, right? So top notes here are grapefruit, um, grapefruit and lemon, orange blossom in the mid, and then Palo Santo and Amberwood in the base. So as uh, Zadik Voltaire, this is really him. The last one was undressed. This, this is him. So this is really him right so the bottle design is the usual uh Zadik and Voltaire type of bottles all of them are the same just different colorations and all of that right so what they say about it is the new EDT intense right by master perfumer Natalie Lawson features a daring blend for the modern man who is ready to embark on a new adventure right and um, this blend begins with some tanginess emanating from the fusion of zesty grapefruit with sparkling lemon for a vibrant and energizing aroma, right? It is soon caught by adding amazing metallic orange blossom to lend the blend an intense floral touch. The blend rests on Palo Santo, uh, a cord with an addictive warm amber wood for a powerful central, right? So from the house of the Zadik and Voltaire, uh, this is really him. So it's the EDT intense, right? Uh, next one, a niche house, you know, a uh, brand of note. Uh, from the house of Initio Performs Privé, um, Narcotic Delight. Man, this one has the community up in arms. People who love fragrances are really excited about this. I've seen a couple of people already review it, bringing it into their collection. Uh, definitely something I dream of before the end of this year, right? So this one just black pepper, other notes, cherry, you've got cognac, you've got hedion, you've got pink pepper, tobacco, vanilla. All of my favorite notes are there. Tobacco, vanilla, uh, cognac, black pepper. This fragrance has my name written all over it. If only I had the money right now, right? But yeah, story for another day, right? So the next one, so what they say about it here, um, the marketing spew, obviously, I have to say, you know, they, they always have to sell it. I, I'm helping them. By the way, um, all of this news, all of these updates I get from perfumo.net or ifragrance.com. So those are, for me, the best um, two, uh, two resources for um, perfume, uh, you know, um, knowledge essentially. So, you know, perform perfumes, what's happening in the scene, etc. So, ifragrance.com uh, and perfumer.net are the websites to go to, right? And what they say uh, about initial narcotic delight, a sensational shot of provocation. 
it is it sets its sight on erogenous vanilla bean electrified by pink pepper drenched in a draft of cognac before finally succumbing to the intoxicating source of a cigar right a cheeky twist of plump and juicy cherry celebrates the indulgence of a polished proposition man this just sounds like top end stuff right yeah but it comes with the money right yeah, so I'm talking the House of Nisho performs Privé, Narcotic Delight. Definitely one to be on the lookout for if you've got that. Ching, ching, right? Uh, the next one from Ralph Lauren, Polo 67. So top notes here, bergamot and pineapple. Uh, heart is geranium, clary sage, and then the base, you've got vetiver and patchouli, right? So what they say about it, a bold, bright fragrance for the man who dares to dream. The sparkle of wood and citrus creates a charming blend that defines a new definition of freshness. Ralph Lauren Polo 67 EDT is sensuality imbued with radiance and warmth. The fragrance opens with invigorating Calabrian bergamot and a note of pineapple. In the heart, the warmth and addiction of the sun are opposed by the aromatic notes of geranium and clary sage. A whisper of earthy vetiver and woody aspects of patchouli envelop the fragrance, giving it a strong, sophisticated touch. When glory calls, we respond to the spirit of determination. Mm, that's how we close it off. Yeah, from the house of Ralph Lauren in their polo range, Polo 67, right? Uh, moving on to the next couple of fragrances. Yeah, from the House of Diesel, um, D-Ray, right? So there was they released, uh, I think, two years ago, almost two years ago, um, D by Diesel. Um, it was a unisex, marketed as a unisex, the first unisex diesel fragrance I've ever seen. But yeah, I think, so now they are here with D-Ray. So it's a more red, I don't know, I'm assuming more fruity, uh, but uh, we wouldn't know. The only notes listed here are grapefruit, lavender, and sandalwood. And unfortunately, that's all I could find so far about it, right? Yeah, so that's D, D Red by Diesel, right? And then the next one from the house of Dolce and Gabbana from their uh, K line, um, you've got the EDP Intense. I think this year is the year of the Intense and Extreme. Last year was the year of the Alexa and the Oods. So I think this year I'll definitely coin it the year of the extreme and intense. Um, yeah, so by June I should be able to confirm, yes, I was right, this is the year of the intense. Everyone is just adding intense at the end of their EDP or EDT uh, fragrances, right? So top notes here, saffron, and then the mid, you've got fig, and you've got the base of leather. So another simple note breakdown again. Um, so this was very much a blue type of fragrance, so I don't know what... Has what would have changed yeah maybe it, that saffron fig and leather mix I'm not quite sure how that would go off but dng knows how to make good fragrances so i don't i doubt it it smells bad right so according to the brand k edp intense is the embodiment of confidence and self-assurance it speaks to men who have a sense of assertion and pride and who lead a daring approach to life and its hurdles unlike the original this flank has steers towards a fruity and woody direction, right? It is a powerful, charismatic, and masculine fragrance that showcases an interesting blend of tenacious notes. So yeah, that's what they say about Dolce & Gabbana KEDP Intense, right? So the next one, another Intense, right? From Paco Rabanne, the robot called the Phantom um, has a an Intense version now, right? So we started with the EDT, uh, we went to the Parfum and now we with the Intense, right? So top notes here, lavender, lemon, orange blossom, the mint, you've got cardamom, you've got clary sage, and then the base, moss, vanilla, rum, absolute, and then you've got cedar wood in the base, right? And then what they say is Phantom Intense is a fragrance that evokes the hypnotic emotion of twilight. When the Parisian sky turns deep blue, and the city light, lights up with a mysterious glow. The bottle reflects this transition with a nuanced design that changes from black to blue. Yeah, so it's got a bit of a gradient there. Um, interesting. 
um, symbolizing the power and allure of the phantom man. The scent is a fresh and aromatic interpretation of the phantom DNA with a blend of exceptional ingredients um, by well-renowned perfumers Paul Gallant, Juliette Casagrusoglu, and Filippo and Dominic, Dominic Ropion. So definitely uh, a superstar lineup of, of perfumers here. At least the three names that I recognize, superstar. So definitely, um, it's definitely a masterpiece. This one is definitely something, right? Just looking at the perfumers, I'm excited and you should be too, right? The next one on the list from the house of John Paul Gautier, uh, Le Mal Lover, right? Simple note breakdown here, white pepper, ambergris, vanilla, right? The vanilla is always there to do the magic. Right now, I'm wearing Le Parfum. So yeah, definitely um, the perfect day to be talking about something new from the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier. So, Le Mal Lover, Jean-Paul Gaultier's new sophisticated sailor, right? He joins the crew of Le, Le Mal's. His story captured on his tattooed torso, a tribute to one of uh, Gaultier's fashion icons, Le Mal Lover, is shown naked without his sailor suit. Sensitive and daring, pure temptation, forever tattooed in the hearts of those who cross his path. A big, sensitive heart behind the viral appearance. Uh, the new Le Mal has arrived to make you stagger. <laughs> Exclusive, limited edition, irresistible in its metal box. Ocean blue in color, her cult flask has, has ditched her sailor suit to show off her uh, tattoo uh, to the open sea, pointing out to the sea uh, with an aquatic musky trail of amber that makes heart skip the heart a bit and impregnates yours uh, with past loves. From Paul's to passions, his skin tells the story of his intrepid intrepid adventures right so yeah a lot going on with the the the, the bottle but yeah lamal lover definitely something to look forward to i'm excited right and the last one i would say um from the released in the month of uh jen from the house of bulgari bulgari pop ohm eau de parfum right so they've taken their original edt and They've added a bit of a, a perform twist to it, right? That's what most uh, fragrance houses are doing these days. They'll take some of one, one of their old uh, fragrances, that, which was an EDT, make it an EDP, and then a parfum, then a, 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 an extreme, an intense, and then an elixir. That catch my drift. Yeah, so that's what the fragrance houses are doing these days, right? So from the house of Bulgari, um, Paul Ohm, EDP, right? So top notes are tea and ginger, Ceylon tea extract and Gaiac wood essence in the middle. And then the base, you've got Masco Court and Umbridge Seed Absolute. So yeah, notes that I'm not very familiar with except for ginger, right? And Gaiac wood, right? So yeah, so what they say about it here is the ever so luxurious house of Bulgari is embracing the new year with a blast from the past, right? Um, they are giving their celebrated Bulgari Per Om EDT, the 1996 C6 Woody Musky offering, a more modernized and sophisticated attire by the hands of master perfumer Jacques Cavalier, right? Who is the mastermind behind the line, right? Bulgari Per Om EDP is said to accentuate the herbal and spicy nuances of the original creation in a higher concentration and more balanced versatility, right? So, um, a more modernized version of Bulgari Po Om uh, EDT, now EDP from 1996, so quite an old fragrance. Um, yeah, almost 30 years old, and now they've sort of zhuzhed it up, so yeah, good stuff indeed. Um, so yeah, that's it for January, the month of January. We look forward to the month of Feb, uh, lots and lots of fragrances for the month of Feb, more intenses, more extremes. Hopefully, um, by the slimmest chance, maybe something completely new. So yeah, with that said, please like, subscribe, share the video, leave a comment down below. Till next time, peace.